What are you doing? I wanted to do ice skating. So I found these amazing things that work exactly like ice. What have you done, Miri? Those are optical discs. And you have spoiled all of them by scratching them. I'm sorry, Tiri. I was just trying to have some fun. And what do you mean these are optical discs? Let us hope that Sid didn't have any important data on them. Miri, these discs are capable of carrying a lot of computer data on them, depending on their type. Yes, but why did you say they are optical discs? Miri, what happens is that data that is bits on a CD are represented by microscopic holes and bumps called bits and lines. In a CD drive, this data is read by a tiny laser beam. So these bits and lines are converted into digital signals, which the computer recognizes. Ah, so because like the eyes, the CD drive reads the data using light. These are called as an optical disc. Precisely, Miri. Now let me check if you have damaged any, which have got data. Tiri, what are you looking for? All of them look the same to me. Wait, I will show you. See this one. This is a CD which has data filled into it. Therefore, it looks like this. Now, compare it to a blank one. Yes, I see the difference. There is no darkness to it. That means it has no data. Luckily, Miri, all the discs you use for skating were blank ones. That means that Sid lost some money but no data. I think we should put all this mess back together. I was wondering, how can one CD hold songs and look full and another look half empty with an entire movie in it? Miri, optical discs are of many types. The music CD you are seeing is called a compact disc, which generally has a capacity of 700 MB. Whereas that movie disc that you are mentioning is called a DVD, which generally has a capacity of 4.7 GB. Wow! That's a lot of difference! That's not all. A new type of disc called Blu-ray disc can hold 25 GB or 50 GB of data based on its type. That's unbelievable, Tiri! But if all of them are of same size, then what causes the difference in capacity? What happens is the pits and lines that I told you about earlier. Aha! Well, as the technology has improved, the space between the pits and the lines have reduced substantially. In CDs, the space was 800 nanomillimeters. In DVD, 400 nanomillimeters. And in Blu-ray, it is 150 nanomillimeters. So more and more data can be saved on a disc of same size. So Tiri, can I use a DVD or a Blu-ray in a CD drive? Unfortunately, Miri, that cannot be done. Because in order to read the smaller pits and lines, even the laser readers need to be more accurate. And CD readers are unable to read DVD or Blu-ray discs. But then, a DVD player can read a CD. And Blu-ray player can read a DVD and a CD. Yes, in most cases they can. And that's why people no longer buy a CD drive. And prefer to buy a DVD. As Blu-ray are still expensive and not so popular as yet. Hmm, Tiri, now that these blanks are useless to Sid, can I take one to write my data? I think that will be wrong, Miri. Plus, what will you do when you have new data? I will write on it again. And I thought you were smart. Miri, these are CD recordable. That means write once only. You can write on them once and can't do it again. If you try to do that, then you lose all the data on it. So then aren't there any optical disc that can be used again and again, like a hard disc or a pen drive? There are rewritable discs, but they are expensive. And the more you use them, there's more chance of losing your data. But unfortunately for you, these are not those. Okay. Don't even think about it, Miri.